one of the key things that you do need to know about your soil and your garden is the soil pH. Now the soil pH is a measure of how acid or how alkaline your soil is. The soil pH scale goes from zero to 14, with seven being neutral, below seven being on the acidic side, above seven being alkaline or being limey. Now the problem with pH is that if it's too far from, the, from neutral, that is too far from seven, then plants struggle to use nutrients that are in the soil and you end up with problems just like this. Now this is a, a classic iron deficiency caused by a high pH for this particular grevillea and as you can see we've got a yellowing new growth, we've got green veins in here and that's very typical of a soil where the pH is too high for the plant. So what happens when the pH goes out of balance is that you end up with various kinds of nutritional problems just like this. Now to test the pH in your soil is really very straightforward. You can buy the simple soil pH kits, they're extremely inexpensive, about $15 or so now, and you take a sample from your garden and test the pH on that. Now to do that, I'd recommend removing any kind of mulch that you've got sitting on the surface and dig down into the soil profile about 10 or 15 centimetres, that is four or five inches, and get yourself a sample which doesn't include much in the way of organic matter. So you really want the soil component of the soil uh, in order to do this pH test. So a little sample like that is ideal. Go through and have a look for any pieces of roots or any pieces of bark or manure or whatever that may be in that soil and get rid of those and just get a sample that's around about a cubic centimetre or so in size. Now these pH kits have a little, little mat which you can put it on, sample onto the, onto the little mat like that. And then you've got two bottles. One is, is an organic dye and one is a, a product called barium sulphate that reacts with the dye. Now to do the pH test, moisten down the soil sample like this. Once you've got the soil sample nice and moist, use the barium sulphate, which is a powder, to react with that colour, colourmetric dye. And as you can see, as soon as you squirt that powder onto the, onto the sample, you have a colour change. And in this case, the colour is probably equivalent to around about six and a half, maybe a little bit less than that, as you can see, from matching the colour on the chart to the colour on the soil sample. Now that, in, that indicates to me that we've got pretty much the perfect pH for most plants uh, in the garden soil here because six and a half to seven is about ideal for most garden plants. And as you can see from the plants that are growing in this garden, they're doing extremely well. If that colour was however eight and a half or nine, which is reasonably common uh, in the Toowoomba and Darling Downs area, then you would need to look at doing some, rem some remediation. And in some areas it may even be down in the yellow or the, or the, or the lime green colour. And again, we need to do something about that. Now to change the soil pH is really quite straightforward. If your soil is too alkaline, that is if it's above seven and a half or eight, I'd recommend using either sulphur, which you can buy like this, mix it through the soil, that will slowly drop the pH, or add organic matter or compost, and that will slowly bring the pH down. If your uh, soil pH is too acidic, that is it's below probably about five or four and a half, you use dolomite lime, and that's readily available. It's a natural product which you can use uh, with full confidence in organic gardens, because it's extremely safe to do, and that will slowly bring the pH value up uh, to correct that pH imbalance. In any case, uh, if you don't know what your soil pH is and you've got plants that look like this, the first thing you should really do is do a soil pH test so that you know what you're dealing with.